Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary, which we are calling, We're in for it now. However he did it, Trump beat Kamala Harris and won the election by a significant margin. He says it was a mandate for him to do anything he wants, and that means we're certainly in for it now. It's really hard to wrap our heads around what happened here. Whatever their reasoning, millions of people around the country voted for him. Did they not know that he is bent on destroying our democracy and our rule of law and making himself an autocratic dictator? Did they not know that he is a complete and lifelong misogynist, racist, and bigot? Did they not know that he has broken the civil and criminal law on a myriad of occasions? Did they not know that he has called our men and women in uniform suckers and losers, even though he himself evaded the draft on the basis of very questionable bone spurs? Did they not know how many Republicans, including those who served with him, said he was unfit to be president and endorsed Kamala Harris instead? Did they not know that he had done a terrible job in his first administration and is likely to wreck our economy, our civil society, and our country going forward? Did they not know that he plans only to dismember our government, including our educational system, our health system, and our regulatory system, and has no plan to improve things? Did they not know that he is a pathological liar and has used and caused his proxies to use every method of media to spread his lies and political propaganda? Did they not know that he has divided our country into separate camps that can't talk to each other, creating a new and potentially violent civil war? Did they not know that his foreign policy has been to undermine our long-standing allies and curry favor with our enemies? Did they not know that he will surround himself with unquestioning cult loyalists, thus further enhancing his autocratic power? Did they not take him seriously when he said he would go after and prosecute his opponents and deport millions of people? Did they not take him seriously when he said he would use the U.S. military against people who protest against him? and at the same time that he would pardon those who attacked the Capitol on January 6. Did they not take him seriously when he said the press was the enemy of the state, especially media that criticized him? We're in for a wild time from Trump, and if you feel anxiety, you should. If you're wondering whether the country is in trouble, it certainly is. The madness we saw before the election is not going away. Whatever Trump does in office, the divisions he created in our country will remain. You should ask yourself how much of this will affect you personally. I'm here to tell you that it will affect every one of us, no exceptions, including the people who voted for him. There's no reason for optimism here. There's much more of this to come, and it's going to be wilder than before. Strap in, it won't be easy for any of us. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. Aloha.